What to wear on a first date, top 10 style tips. Going on a date is always nerve-wracking, not to mention the very first one. Here's what to wear on a first date in order to leave a lasting impression. Check the venue. It's extremely important to scout the venue before showing up. Not only can this save you major embarrassment if you show up to a beach-themed restaurant in an evening dress, but you'll prevent yourself from having to choose between numerous what to wear on a first date styles. Potentially wasting precious time and saving you plenty of frustration and money. Choose comfort, always, despite how amazing you want to look, how you feel is much more important. Of course, you want to experience both, but that's not always ideal. The last thing you want is to be fidgeting with your clothing in areas that will make it seem obvious that you're uncomfortable. Any man, when he's interested in you, will notice your discomfort and you'll feel even more self-conscious. Leave most for the imagination. Depending on the type of man you decide to go on a first date with, he's going to want you to be a little bit conservative. This doesn't mean you can't show off a little bit of leg or maybe a tiny bit of cleavage as long as one or the other. Thoroughly plan your outfit? There's probably nothing worse than thinking you know what you want to wear for a first date only to realize last minute that what you wanted to wear really isn't going to work. It's only about an hour before you have to leave for the date and you have nothing to wear. What to do? Well, it's as easy as planning out your outfit thoroughly in order to avoid any surprises. Always take a light jacket, Always pack a light jacket or something to throw over your shoulder in case the weather decides to turn. If he's a gentleman, he'll offer his jacket, but you just never know. Remember, always show up prepared in order to avoid feeling uncomfortable and cold as the night progresses. The weather can turn easily and you'd rather show up to the date with a little bit of extra coverage than not enough. Wear comfortable shoes. Unless you can walk in them comfortably, don't even attempt wearing uncomfortable shoes on your first date. The key to a successful date is being comfortable and leaving a confident impression. Uncomfortable shoes will only cause you to walk funny and result in painful blisters that could have been avoided by wearing shoes you most definitely feel comfortable to walk in. Choose an outfit you'd normally wear. Just because you're going on a hot first date doesn't mean you have to wear an outfit you wouldn't normally be seen with. You still want to feel like yourself, and you certainly want to show him the truest version of yourself. Stick to your own sense of style and flaunt what you were given. He'll love it. Can't decide? Choose red? What happens if you're stuck with numerous outfits, all different colors, and you simply can't decide on one? If you happen to have a red choice amongst the lot, go with that. Psychologically, red creates a moth to a flame type of effect. Men find red on women most attractive and seductive. So if the goal of the evening is to lure him in, always choose your red outfit. Look touchable? If you're into your date and he's into you, you most certainly want to be touched, right? So, as much as you want to keep skin exposure limited and come across as a little bit conservative, you also want the best of both worlds where you look touchable. Don't be afraid to play around with outfits and accentuate your best features. If it's your eyes, wear eye makeup. If you have curvy hips, don't be afraid to wear a pencil skirt. Wear what fits you best. Don't purchase new shoes. Whatever you do, don't wear new shoes when choosing what to wear on a first date. Sure, we all want to look brand new and shiny, which includes purchasing a brand new outfit. However, you'll end up with blisters before the night has even begun which will cause you to walk funny and feel extreme discomfort as one of those things you want to avoid. Rather choose one of your regular pairs of shoes. Choose pretty but don't necessarily go with a brand new. You'll thank us. Remember, when it comes to deciding on what to wear on a first date, always leave enough room for preparations in order to give yourself enough time to change your mind if you wish to do so. You simply can't end up not having enough time to get ready. Especially if you think this date can turn into something serious. First impressions really do count, so make wise choices when choosing what to wear on a first date and you may end up going on continuous dates for a long time still to come.